at how God was faithful, God's timing, God's plan, and uh, it was an encouragement to me. As Christmas passes by, New Year's is on its way. And I want to encourage you this year to make some practical, spiritual New Year's resolutions. Many times folks will tell me, I'm not going to make a resolution because I'm probably going to get through January and then I'm not going to do them anyways. And it makes me think of the phrase, if you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. We understand that we may not always hit the mark that we've aimed for, but if we never try, we certainly will never grow. So maybe you've tried to read your Bible through in a year and it hasn't happened, but you certainly read more than if you wouldn't have had a goal. So I want to encourage you this year to make some goals, to set some realistic goals spiritual goals in your life. Uh, many years I make a list and I don't always hit them and sometimes I don't hit any of them all the way. But I know that I make progress in my spiritual life um, because I'm taking steps. They may be baby steps and then I have to hit the reset button halfway through the year when I realize oh, I haven't been doing what I ought to do. So here's just some ideas um, of some goals that I know I'm going to attempt this year, and I encourage you to take some of them and apply them to yourself. Um, my goals will not be the same as yours. Uh, we are all in different ages and stages of life. Um, today, I am sitting here in our uh, nursery in our home. Um, in 2022, we will welcome two more grandchildren to our growing family. Um, we will have six grandchildren under the age of two. And so I am in a different phase of life than my daughter-in-laws and my sons are. And so I can have some bigger spiritual goals than what they may be able to attain um, in their sleepless nights and very busy full days. And so I need to challenge myself um, during these times. And so here are some ideas for you. I'm just going to share them, um, some things that I'm going to try. Um, I always try in the new year to choose at least six books that I am going to read um, and outline um, because if I outline them, then I'm actually learning something from them. So whether it be parenting, um, I already have a book ordered. Um, it will be here this week on um, adult children because I have adult children and I want to be the very best mom and mother-in-law that I can be to my adult children. Um, I don't want to do things that would discourage them spiritually, but I don't want to step back and not be an encouragement. And so this book that I've ordered, I'm going to read and I'm going to outline and I'm going to study it. I already have that one on my 2022 read list. And so I want you to think about choosing, maybe you can't do six books a year. Maybe you can do one or two, um, but find some good reading material that you can outline and apply that will help you grow in your walk with the Lord and in those around you. Another thing you can do is decide to have a prayer list. Maybe you already pray a long time every day. Maybe you pray on the run. Uh, maybe you have a des designated place or time that you pray. But do something realistic this year that will allow you to pray more than you have in the past. Um, I like to use my phone's contact list um, as a prayer list because those are the people that I am in touch with, that I um, have interaction with, whether every day um, or maybe just throughout the year. And I like to use that as a prayer list. And many times as I'm praying um, through that list, I will think of a need that someone has mentioned and I'll go ahead and jot them a text and send it. And then they'll know that I have been praying for them. Um, so use a creative way, whatever it is for you. For me, it's my phone's contact list, and I pray for those people um, each week. I may not get through the whole list every day, um, but I certainly try to get through the entire list every week. Um, another way that you can set some goals, um, some realistic spiritual goals, is to pass out a track to as many people as what you have decided your goal will be. If you've never passed out tracks before, then maybe one a week, or maybe it's 10 a month. 
um, or you're going to do it every time you travel. Whatever it is, make a realistic goal about passing off tracks. Um, it's very easy. It's very non-confrontational. And um, people read and accept Christ through a tract. So don't be afraid to take that on as a goal. Make it a challenge. But you have to plan. If you don't have a track in your vehicle or your purse or your wallet, you're not going to give them out. So have different kinds. I have cute tracks that I like to use um, for waitresses that say thank you. It's my favorite track to use. Uh, people like to see why are people saying thank you. And especially in this time when everybody's so grumpy, um, having a, someone leave a, a piece of paper on the table that says thank you. I leave it in hotel rooms for my cleaning ladies. Um, I love to leave tracks that are an encouragement. I usually put a little money in them and that makes them want to pick up the track. And so make a goal. Realistically, I can give away X amount of tracks every week, every month, every year, whatever your goal can be. Anything that you do more than you did last year is growing. Decide this year also that you will share the gospel with somebody. Maybe it's one person. Um, but whatever it is, do more than what you've done in the past. We need to be growing. That's why we set resolutions. Well, sometimes we set resolutions so we don't grow physically. <laughs> Those are always very uncomfortable resolutions. But we're talking about spiritual resolutions. So let's move on. Um, more things that you can do um, this year in a resolution is to um, visit some folks in your church that you've never visited before. Um, get to know those people. Make a list um, in a journal or uh, on your devotion book. These are some people in our church. I'm not even sure I know their name, but I know where they sit. I want to get to know them. Set realistic spiritual goals for yourself. Set some goals for your family. If you have children at home, um, they're not old enough to know that they need to be setting some goals. So set some for them and help them attain those goals. In 2022, we want to do more for the cause of Christ. We want to do better um, in our own walk with the Lord so that we can grow, so we can bring other people to him. So I challenge you as the new year comes in, don't wait for it. You be ready and set some spiritual goals that you can accomplish this year. And then share those with us and we will rejoice with you. Have a blessed 2022.